All right, Coach, it is a cold night in western Pennsylvania as we bring you inside Heinz Field here in Pittsburgh. This was the scene just a few moments ago as the Pittsburgh faithful were fired up by the hometown Steelers taking the field. They're all set as they'll match up with the Buffalo Bills. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. On first down, Allen. He's going to take off with it. He'll have a first down past the 40 as they finally wrangle him in at the 48. Let's go, Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. That's a prime example of how Josh Allen can hurt a defense. You remember back to his rookie season a year ago, 631 rushing yards, second only to Lamar Jackson. Also had eight rushing touchdowns. He is a dual threat QB. Now a man closing in on 15,000 career rush yards, Frank Gore. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop What's before it mean? turns into something big. This is the third round pick out of FAU, Devin Singletary. And he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. It's a four yard pick up there and it leaves him with third and five. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Allen from the gun on third down, and this is going to be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. Let's go, boys. And they'll Let's say go. it crosses at the 11-yard line. Steelers offense coming back out here for their next possession. And you think back to earlier when we talked about Mason Rudolph, his struggles in the game against Cleveland. Really, their offense struggled. Just seven points put up. But you, early in the game, they lost Smith-Schuster. They lost Deontay Johnson. They lost James Conner. So now at 5-5, five and five, can this team make a playoff push? I thought the Cleveland game would give us the biggest indicator if they can win that one. But the loss plus the loss of personnel that you mentioned, and then go back to the beginning of the season. Ben Roethlisberger lost for the year. I think it's a lot for them to overcome. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. First carry of the game for Jalen Samuels. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get Go ball. 15 line. 15 line. Here we go, D. All day, defense. All day. All day. Yeah. Well, off the bootleg. Hodges. He'll get that one complete to Connor. A gain of 10. Good for a Steeler first down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. Let's go, 18 Gator. Come on, come on, D. On first and 10 is counter. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there and a first down. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No Go doubt about it, because when they're in sync, as we're seeing so far, <laughs> when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. 
So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> error we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let hey, him man. get downfield. 58 to Mike. Hey, here we go. Check four. Check On second down, Samuels. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Let's go, folks. Give them three yards and a fresh set of downs. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Easy work. It's they tried a quick work. hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally down. and open up a Six crease that they can run through. No. Didn't happen on that play. Hey, come on out here. Come get some. Now it's Hodges. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. On third down, Hodges. That is going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. That's a cornerback in for the sack, Tredavious White. Well, it's about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Boswell's kick is good. And the Steelers will jump out to a three-zip lead. Boswell signed to a four-year deal prior to last season, but he struggled a little bit. Yeah, do you think that they saw 13 of 20 when they signed him to a four-year deal? Not at all. Needs a big bounce back in 2019 if he wants to see the end of that contract. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here comes Buffalo's offense again out onto the field, and they're at 7-3 and three right now, Charles. Now, early in the year, you're like, ah, they got off to a good start. Maybe it was the schedule. But I think 11 weeks in at 7-3, and three, we have enough of a sample size to say, look, this is a good football team. And don't we say every week any team can beat any team in the NFL? So 7-3 and three in that league, yeah, you shouldn't sneeze at that. Don't take it lightly. And how about Josh Allen, their quarterback? He's playing awfully well. Threw for 256 yards, three touchdowns. No interceptions, hasn't thrown a pick since, what, week five? Yeah. And still continues to run the ball as he did as a rookie. Seven carries, 56 yards, and another touchdown. This kid is starting to round into form. 163 consecutive throws 
without an interception. Well, quickly, let's look ahead at the schedule. They will get the three and seven Broncos at home week 12, and then they're going to be tested. Cowboys, Ravens, Steelers, Patriots, and three of those four on the road. It's a pickup of 17 on that one and a Bills first down. Bills are certainly happy to have a healthy Tyler Croft. Remember, he had a season-ending foot injury last year with the Bengals in Week 5, so the Bills get him, and he re-injures that same foot in May in OTAs, but out there now and says he's feeling pretty good. They run. It's good. And he'll get this one across midfield and down into Steeler territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to see. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. Throwing is Allen on third. On the move to his left. He may try and run for this. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 29-yard line. That's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for him. And if you're not going to use a spy, you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that, all he does is hurt you. Have to at least be able to contain him somewhat. There they could not. Got a man. It's Brown. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. The veteran Frank Gore stands alone in the backfield on second and goal. Here's Allen to throw it. Out. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Bills have taken the lead. Well, this was a pass all the way, but he just kept buying time, didn't he? It was kind of like, wait, wait. Oh, it's open. Time to hot foot it and go. And boy, was he successful. Yeah, didn't go to the outside toward the pylon, just straight ahead, middle third of the field. Shortest distance between two points, straight line. Hauschka with the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal. And I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out and out joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, 
get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Hodges, they'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards that time, but a Pittsburgh first. On first down, it's Samuels. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Oh, I know you felt that one. I know you felt that one. After one, 7 3, the score on EA Sports. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. On second down, Connor looking for space. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. The defensive line made pretty easy work of the offensive line that time. And people get tired of the cliche that the battle is won in the trenches. But it's a cliche because it's true. And how about the battle right there? One on the edge. And the ball carrier did not benefit. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. Ed Oliver in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Barry on to punt as he gets this one away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They'll run here with Singletary. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now second and seven from the 23. Allen. Complete. Smith has it. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Allen looks to throw on third and one. And that's complete to Croft. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. But forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. On first down, it's goal. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. You got nothing. On second down, Singletary. Give him three yards on the run there. That still leaves him with a difficult third and eight coming up. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Now Allen, and that is incomplete. 
By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, and we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much Let's leg go. there. That'll be a touchback. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first down. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Well, with that incompletion, I, I want to get your MVP thoughts. Lamar Jackson, he seems to be the leader right now, is he not? I would agree with that. His team is the hottest team in the league right now. And then you've got, let's go. well, let's think 15, of the others. Dak line. Prescott, 15, yeah, Russell lead. Wilson. Yeah. Who else? Christian McCaffrey? I would say Christian McCaffrey, although it's hard for a running back to win it. Don't forget Michael Thomas with the Saints mm. continued to have big numbers even while Drew Brees was out. But also, if Patrick Mahomes gets hot and the Chiefs run off a string, he's a defending NFL MVP. But think about this. If Lamar Jackson does win the MVP, he'll be the first 22-year-old to do it since Jim Brown. Come on, set. AT Gator. On the draw, Connor. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. That's it, baby. That's it. Well, they had that That's one it. sniffed out. Big Excellent hit. run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Come on, QB, come on. On second down now. It's Connor, and he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. To throw on third down, Hodges, and that is incomplete. They went with the dime look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Here's Jordan Berry now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple Reflection yards into the end zone. A missed Go. opportunity there maybe to pin them back. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Now on second down, this is Gore. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And just like that, it's third down. From the gun, it's Allen. And that's caught by Beasley. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Last play, they didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Now they gain all those 40 yards here. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll run on first down with Singletary. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Oh, yeah. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned 
that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Back to the ground, this time with Gore. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Tell you what, you need the tough yards. You can still turn to the 36-year-old Frank Gore now in his 15th season in the league. Ten in San Francisco, the three in Indy. Quick stop in Miami, and now in Buffalo, and still making it happen. Gore again here on first down. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Allen's throw is complete. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. And let's pin the mirrors back and go full strength. Allen on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. So off goes Allen, and on comes Steven Hauschka for the Buffalo field goal. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. Now after the main field goal, Hauschka back out onto the field to kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Come on, let's go. Ready, ready. Here's Connor. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. I'm, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. They go draw play. This is Samuels. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside.
Here's Jordan Berry now as he's on to punt for Pittsburgh. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. Well, from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Not yet, not yet. Come on. So we got man, man, man. Check nine, check nine. They'll start on the ground with Gore. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. And here's carry number 10 for Frank Gore. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. the 20 John Brown he's at the 40 past the 20 and all the way home for a Bills touchdown John Brown 93 yards and the Bills will add on to their lead and that'll give them a two score lead here but I'm looking ahead they just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter they don't want to give up anything on the other side no not at all because if they don't it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. Hauschka adds the extra point, and the lead is now 17-3. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But it's also something to challenge in your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Vance McDonald, the tight end, was the target. And now it's second down. Well, partner, let's look league-wide for a second and think playoffs here. I'm going to give you some teams, and you yeah. tell me if they Who still have think? a chance at the AFC Get wild card, or are they just Get waiting till next year? How about Cleveland at 4-6? and six? They're actually getting yeah. hot right now but I still don't see them getting there and being in the playoffs. Okay, same division. Steelers, they're 5-5 five and five right now. Yeah, I think the loss to Cleveland finished off that run. Also 5-5, five and five, the Titans. They actually have a chance if they stick to what they do best, and that's run the football. They'll have to chase down Indianapolis and Houston in their own division. Okay, lastly, I'm going to ask the question because they've talked about it. How about the three and seven Jets? Who's they and why? <laughs> Not you and I. Okay, I was about to say, why? No. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. On third down, it's Connor. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half.
Here's Jordan Berry now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And a nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Throwing quickly. That's caught by Brown out wide. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. This is fielded at the goal line. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. On second down, here's Hodges toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time, and it's third and short. Martin, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with, some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting to 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Yeah, well, we're into the second yeah, half baby. now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Here's Jordan Berry now. He's been terrific so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. A good pick up there, a 22. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. The quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. And three yards there takes him to the 45. Get in the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Again, they run again. It's Gore. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now. 
And the Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And the grab by Croft. Give him 18 on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. Nice job, nice patience right there. Put him on the right side, let him work his way across, put the ball in his hands, and let him work his way upfield with a catch. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. Gore. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And all the way down to the five. A big run there, 29 yards and a first. He covered a lot of ground, great blocking, and now they can sniff that end zone. They certainly can, and because of that run, maybe you come back and fake it to him on this play and throw a little play action. Someone should break wide open. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal, and he fends him off. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. They'll try and push it in with Gore. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. So now things get interesting on third and goal from the one. This almost becomes a Darwinian call, doesn't it? Almost survival of the fittest here. I know we can go all cliche. I'll go ahead and do it. Who wants it more here? Who has a better leverage at the line of scrimmage? Let's go and see what happens. Third and goal, goal. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. A loss of a yard and it brings up fourth. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. Hauschka's kick is good and that'll push the lead up to 17. They took it all the way to the one, but in the end, opt for three. Just doesn't sound right, does it? If you get all the way down to the one yard line, isn't that supposed to be a play in the end zone that culminates in a touchdown for your team? <laughs> and per usual, it felt like the guys on the sideline wanted to go ahead and go for it. Of course they did, but of course head coach, it defers back to him and he made the decision, let's get three out of this, make sure we get some points. Now after the made field goal, Hauschka back out onto the field to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple Let's extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Continues to be a struggle for this offense and this home crowd. They're growing a little restless here in the second half. And I think they've just got to look at how they're trying to move the football. Yeah, you want to run it, but maybe you spread it out. Maybe some swing passes that can take the place of runs and give you a little more space. Connor. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, 
That really opens things up for you. On third down, Connor. And yeah, boy, he is very close to a first yeah. down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side uh, of the field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. Let's go. Now, if you're a fan of punting, this game's for you. He's been out there quite a bit. That one may be his best yet. Yeah, he certainly got his leg loose by now. It kind of reminds me of my college football coach, John Majors. He loved the punting game because he liked the positioning, the field position, and he loved to play defense. Here we go, here we go. Watch time, watch time. Tight end right, tight end right. Easy, easy. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. On, Give him 18 baby. on that one as the Bills are going to have a first down. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Mika Fitzpatrick made the play defensively, the first round pick out of Alabama. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. And watch that, and watch the ball. Six guys. From the 27, Allen. They'll roll him out right. Now he'll pull it down. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Get right, get Josh right, Allen, very right. athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Let's go. Let's get this ball back for the offense. Let's go. On play action, Allen. This will be caught by Brown. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, go, but not go. before he takes it inside go. the 40. 15 yards that time, and a Buffalo first. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. That one was intended for John Brown. And it's second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. John Brown at all way home for a Bills touchdown. John Brown. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Bills will add on to their lead. I think it's easy to say mission accomplished on that drive. The goal was to increase the lead. They did exactly that. Hauschka with the extra point. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. 
Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. And with that, folks, I want to remind you to join the NFL Salute to Service. This season, the NFL and its players are honoring those who proudly serve our country. And fans are encouraged to join NFL players in writing letters to service members and their families. To learn how you can send your letter today, visit NFL.com slash salute. He's going to take off with it. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They run with Connor. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. 60 Pittsburgh. You don't want none, baby. You don't want none. Hey, hey, you don't want to see me. Shoot. Looking to throw on first down with Hodges. And he's got his man, the tight end, McDonald. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. On the counter, it's Connor. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Let's go, let's go. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Shotgun handoff to Samuels. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Yeah, it's a six-yard yeah. gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Here we go. Here we go. 30 base. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Hodges here on second down. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. Come on now. Let's Six go. yards, the pickup, and that's a first down. Set, this will probably be the last ball. play of the quarter. I hope you brought your lunch because I'm about to take you to school. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Crash, crash. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing now, Hodges on first down. And that's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense, they're just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Second and 10, it's Hodges again. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Ed Oliver able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly Very has, great. but in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense, I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. That went into the hands of his tailback, Samuels. It'll be a two-yard game, and that'll bring up fourth down. 
Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. Hit it. 49 to Mike. 49 to Mike. Let's get the ball. Ready, ready. They'll run here with Connor. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. They'll try to run it. This is Connor, and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play, and that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Let's go. 60 or. I got it. We got it. Tight left, tight left. Hey, 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 hey. Four down, four down. Yeah. Third and goal. Hodges. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Vance McDonald there to make the grab. And the Steelers are able to close the gap just a bit. Obviously, the scoreboard right now is not the friend of this rookie quarterback, but hey, a touchdown pass there maybe builds a little confidence. Every rep is valuable when you're a rookie. Every time you step up and throw the football, there's a lesson to be learned. Yeah, he took advantage of a little bit of loose coverage there with the lead, but at the same time, got it done, and it'll take a little bit of satisfaction away from that throw. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded at the two. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But you know, there was a big time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> that Woody Woody? He it on the ground. <laughs> two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellows up front in order to bring this one home. Now another carry here tonight for Gore. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action. But other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Give him eight yards on the carry, and that's going to bring up fourth down. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. And he puts a little something extra into this one, by far his best of the night. 
And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Come on, set. Ten Lobo. On first and ten, it's Hodges. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. James Washington was the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. On second down, Samuels. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Staying on the ground with Samuels. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On first down, here's Hodges. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Trent Murphy. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass Whoa. rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Here's Hodges looking to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And now a fumble. The ball's out. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. And this carry number 20 for Frank Gore. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. You got it. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. That catch good for five. It's third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. The Bills on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for ten. This will be third and five. On the counter, Gore. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no gain. And Hauschka's kick is good. And that will stretch the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's a 21-point game. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? Now after the made field goal, Hauschka back out onto the field to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. 
The Steelers offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, yeah. they've Nine struggled moving point. the ball, turning it over on the last <laughs> possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah, I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. They'll run with Samuels. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Seven yards there and a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Hodges on first down. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Johnson the intended target, but it's going to be second down. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. Again on second and ten, it's Hodges. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Got an open man. It's Washington. Yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Oh, nice yeah. pickup of nine yards on first down. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the Go deflection, that, if you miss, hey, might be bigger stop. and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Seven yards there and a first down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. First and 10, Hodges, he's going to let it fly. And incomplete, he dropped it in the end zone. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Come on, Second Jack. and 10 from the 33-yard line. I'm here all day. Deep rip, deep rip. Second and 10 now, Hodges. And yes, complete to the tight end, McDonald. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought That's down. It, the Steelers able to pick up 18 yards there. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking Get forward the now Get because the now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He'll find Smith-Schuster, that's complete. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way, lost yardage. No, for some reason it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. That's it, that catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Jack. 
They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. On third down, Hodges. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. And Boswell's kick is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. Well, in the grand scheme of things, those three points likely not going to matter much, but I guess they get a little closer, a little more respectability. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been outplayed all game long, but like my mom used to tell me all the time before I went out, dress up a little bit, son. Make yourself respectable. <laughs> and that's what they're doing here. They're just dressing up the final score. After the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. He'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a plane to catch. They'll try and start the drive here with Gore. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Pittsburgh.